All right, guys, I'm going to start up using my turmeric face moisturizer. And it, it's from the company Nature's Pure. And you can get this on Nature's Pure Instagram web page or Instagram page. They have contacts on there, numbers, email, all that good stuff. So you can just go on their Instagram page and they can purchase this product as well. So for my primer, I'm taking my Sasha Cosmetics Matchifying Primer. And I must say, this primer wears so well with um my other jesus my huda beauty foundation and i'll be wearing my huda beauty foundation today right so um as you guys saw i'm just taking my oil um olive oil um hair lotion and i use this sometimes alone and this in conjunction with the cantu that i'll be using again it's a moisturizer both of them are daily moisturizers and sometimes i use one or the other and but today I want to use both because the type of video that I'll be doing, I'll also be wearing a wig, so my hair will be running for a wig, so I want it to be as moisturized as possible. I have obviously colored hair, colored blonde hair, and there's nothing on top of it protecting it, so I keep my hair extremely moisturized. You guys know I love this foundation. I love it going to bed. It works so well with every single primer that I have. Um, it, it works well by itself. It's just an amazing primer. I'm in the color um, Cocoa. I think it's 510R Cocoa. And for, um, right, so I'm just applying this all over my face. And for my, what color is it again? Concealer. I'm taking the same Huda Beauty concealer in um, Caramel. Mm-hmm. I think it's Caramel. It's kind of like, it's orange. So it's like a color, color corrector, sorry. So on top of this character, I'm actually, well, I'm just going to blend it out. I'm going to use it like a concealer, but I'm using it like a concealer corrector. See, I'm not just a concealer alone. Um, usually, I used to use by itself and just move on with my everyday life. But today, I'm actually going to be applying a concealer on top of it. Um, so now I'm going to be low lighting with my Fenty Beauty Espresso um, Matte Matchstick. And I'm just going on the perimeters of my face. Just to give my face a little, a little bit more of a slimmer look because I'm... <laughs> being this pregnant shows in your face <laughs> so now i'm just going to blend that out and i'm actually taking my what that name like blush brush like an angled blush brush so it's like really fluffy so i just pinch it between my fingers and then just blend it out because i love the blended gauge it just like blows out the concealer and it doesn't look as structured which i don't mind but for this look i wanted it to be a little bit more soft than structured so i'm taking my concealer in warm in toffee yes this is a concealer in toffee from la girl and i'm going to blend this up what i've been doing recently is i've been allowing my concealer to sit under my eyes just a little bit longer while i um blend it out everywhere else i blend out underneath my eyes last and of course i'm following my queen my girl jackie aina so for my powder that i'm using right now i'm using my sasha cosmetics loose loose face powder in perfect spice and that's going to go everywhere and this is my ear spawn <clears throat> excuse me um face powder and that's that's what I, that this is what i'm using to highlight what is wrong with me my words ain't coming out but this is what i use in conjunction with the huda um concealer the one that looks like a corrector sometimes i use those two alone and it works because that's so orange this is so white to me it, it like cancel each other out Excuse me, I may be wrong from a, um, what do you call it? From a, um, makeup artist standpoint or from a color theory standpoint. But I think it does when I continue to do it. So for my brow bone, I'm using the same ear spun powder. And that's going on my bra bone below. So I'm just going to blend that out or the kind of like push it into my skin while I'm blending it out. And the eye look for this is extremely simple. This is the eye look I go for um, when I just want something on my eyes with a little bit of difference. See how ashy my face looks? Girl, don't worry, bubble. It's all going to come together when I spray on my Marbidesu, um Cucumba setting spray or finishing spray. So I went in with my um, low light, which is uh, Sasha Cosmetics Perfect Brand. Then I'm going in with my nude palette, new nude palette from Huda Beauty. And I'm taking that color, and that's the color that's going to be going in my crease, just to give my crease a little bit of a definition. Then I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush, going in that color as well, and then I, that's going to go in that area of my eyes, as well as over at the edges of the color that I laid down, and a little bit on my brow bone. So now no, for my eyes, I am lining them with my LA Pro Primer in black. 
and then I'll be blending that out. Um, like when I bring it out, I kind of bring it down. And the reason why I bring my eyeliner down is because I do crease in that area. So I feel like when I bring eyeshadow down there, it helps with the crease. Now the crease doesn't show as much. So I'm taking that color as well, and I'm just using it to kind of smoke up my bottom lash line. Here comes my beauty forever. What? So it's from Beauty Forever. Here's their Malaysian curly. So I actually did a two fourteen inch and a two twelve inch, and I used a closure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a couple of the hair right here and just kind of clip it. So I'm going to be making another bang wig. Because when I did it yesterday after the video, I was like, yo, this looks so good. Let me see. Okay, that looks even enough. So I'm just going to twist it. And then just cut it. Yeah, cut it. See? Mommy, I can't see ya. See me here. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to be taking Tay2 and some matte lippy. And it's from Trivia's Place. Lip balm. Mm hmm. What? The matte lip. And for my glow, I'm just going to be using the Huda Beauty one. And I'm just going to go really light today because I wasn't going to do any glow. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Pretty simple eyes. Bold red lips. Not too much. I really wanted to talk about this hair. My Beauty Forever hair. Um, I've been working with them for years. Years upon years. I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to work with them again. You see, I've gone shorter. Let me know what you guys think. And I personally love the bang. If someone asked to know what you think. Because <laughs> I love the bang. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It is Sunday morning. Um, I'm leading worship, so I'm actually rushing off to church right now. Thank you so much for your support. Beauty for everyone. Thank you so much for trusting me with your company, with your product, with everything. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.